Welcome to Drive Central. I'm Mike Spinelli. I have <laughs> the laughing Leo Parente. I can't wait to see what's on Drive this week. I'm l rolling out the welcome mat um, for Drive this week. Hit us up on Twitter and subscribe, and you've been doing that, and it's been awesome, and you've been yeah, leaving we're, comments. We're and up to 700 million subscribers now. <laughs> we're like the or 10 times the, the Super views? Bowl. Am I reading the views different than... Uh, I don't know what you're reading. It's it could all be... good, though. Thank you. Yes, and uh, this week on Tune, Matt Farah is wrapping up his quarterly tuned show so he's going to oh, be uh doing end of, a end of the, the end first of run? the first season i guess we would call how many it. shows do you think he did uh 430 and, and all of them were the world's fastest cars. yes exactly <laughs> um yeah and everything was uh, like 1500 horsepower and and whatever else no you know matt has a, a whole season of shows that um he's going to take a look at some of the good comments that he's gotten and answer them and do all that kind it's of stuff. It's a very special reflective matt farah yes holy with matt farah as blossom <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah. In the last 12 weeks, we've been all over the West Coast and driven all kinds of different tuner cars. In fact, of all the cars we've driven, the average horsepower per tuner car was 581. Just thought you'd like to know that. Matt Farah as Blossom, your analogies are older than mine. I'm pretty old. I'm advanced in years. Who's next? Punky Brewster as Chris Harris? <laughs> no? Salim Moon Fry as... Yeah. Oh, very good. <laughs> oh, it's Alex. Alex on Live and Let Drive looking for a new talent, apparently? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. Yes, but... What do you um, mean looking for a new talent? Do you know anything? Well, no, that's what, I, that's what JF told me to say. No, I don't know. He's, he's out. He went to look for some talent for the, the road trip, here's the next road I trip. Think, here's what I think I know. He's looking for a co-host for his next road trip. And we're, uh, and we're looking for those people from out in the community. Well, thanks for telling me. You're welcome. <laughs> Whose show is this anyway? Alex, check him out. Jeff had, and I wouldn't say it's the first time, maybe the second time, a great idea. We're in San Francisco, again. A city that Jeff has found a whole lot of good reasons to find glorious. Enough jokes. 650 BMW convertible, the Pacific Coast Highway. Of course I said yes. I also made a mean joke. I said I didn't want to do it with JF. But in going with the joke, I went on Facebook and posted this status update. This is not a joke. You want to co-host Live and Let Drive with Alex Roy? All you have to do is convince me that you're funny and give me a road trip idea I haven't thought of and meet me at In-N-Out Burger. So far, Slovenian, so uh, far, a stranger I haven't met yet ranks higher than JF, <laughs> and a stranger that has yet to email me I know nothing about, but I hope will, ranks higher than JF. <laughs> Why do I now have the sweaty feeling that I have no idea what I was talking about, and that clip may not have aligned up with what we just hey, said? I don't know whether any of these clips are going to line up with anything we're saying. However, are you are going to be drive? seeing them. Yeah, we're st still drive, but you're going to be seeing the clips, so you'll probably know more than we do after you've seen them. And we'll read your comments. Yes. Also, Chris Harris on cars. Chris, actually, we do know what Chris you is doing. You know what's better than Chris Harris on cars? What? When he's actually in the car driving. <laughs> I don't understand that title anymore. Is that anymore. An on cars? Like I don't sitting understand on cars? that title anymore. He's on, no, it's about him about cars. Chris Harris about, about cars about, is about... So he's Canadian. <laughs> what? what the hell are you talking about? What is Chris <laughs> What does Chris do today? Chris, this week, drove a bunch of SLs through the history of the Mercedes-Benz SL. A bunch? SL. A bunch? When you start talking a technical, few? I get lost. I mean, how many grapes are in a bunch? I don't know. I, he drove a few. Mercedes. Mercedes Benz. Because he's doing the history of SL? The history of SL through, SL through the ages. Okay. So that was a very cool introspective, retrospective that uh, Chris shared on SL. Wow, don't let you too near the dictionary next time. Yeah, the yeah. I'm the guy who thinks thesaurus is a dinosaur. That's the one with the... Like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
That's Chris Harris on Cars every Wednesday on Drive. And you may have noticed that we have some new racing footage and uh, show, sort of shows and stuff coming up. Yeah, we're doing more things in racing because apparently you people are getting tired of listening to me only. No, the truth is we're going to be showing you the Porsche IMSA GT3 Cat Challenge Cup races by Yokohama. And the first one is up already, so you've probably seen first it. First race was Sebring. They have two races every weekend. So we did a recap, and we're going to be bringing those as the season progresses. Those Porsche Cup races run with IMSA and ALMS. And those so are that's something we're going to share with you. A lot of in-car camera action. Standard cars, young drivers, sort of a feeder series. It's, um, it's a blend. Um, um, you've got the young kids mm -hmm. who are using this to kind of develop their sports car racing career. You've got some gentleman drivers that still have the skill to run these 450 they, horsepower. They wear monocles? No, this is not an English series. This is <laughs> Porsche. Well, you said they were gentlemen. Oh, God, I get it. That, that wasn't shtick. We were just sort of bantering. Yeah, That's it fine. definitely it's... wasn't shtick. <laughs> 450 ahead, horsepower. Yes. Um, we're going to give you a little bit of the in-car ca camera action. We're going to give you a little bit of uh, insight into racing technique. Talk to some of the team owners. Talk to some of the veterans like Pat Long that helped these drivers come along. Pretty interesting. So, Patrick Long, uh, Porsche uh, factory driver, what's he, is he coaching them and stuff? So, that... so, what happens is some of the teams, some of the drivers, and Porsche make these pros available to help these young kids develop their skills and kind of point them in the right direction to, to do well. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so what else are you guys doing? So then also, and you saw it at Sebring, we have something called Trackside, which I'm calling Shakedown Without My Voice. No, actually Trackside <laughs> is pretty cool because literally without any voiceover, without any commentary, we share the entire context of racing with just the visceral so feeling it's like and sun, sound. It's Sunrise Earth for cars? What are you, JF? <laughs> I don't well, know. This is, that's been his working title. Okay, he somehow saw Sunrise Earth on what the Disney well, Channel. Well, it's sort of like yeah. And he shared this. Type but you've of seen feeling with Sunrise you. Earth, where you're just looking at animals drinking from the the uh, the, the babbling brook. Yeah, that's in, right. In it's the middle of fifteen minutes of uh, uh, Timo Bernard the sun rising. From the point is, it's really really cool. You guys seem to like it, and I like it because it kind of sets up some of the uh, the shakedown details behind the behind the pictures, behind yeah, the story. And, and it's a recap if you really like listening to the engines and not like music and crazy stuff going on. Yeah, as long as it doesn't reduce me to just a talking head in the studio, I'm loving it. <laughs> and I'm sure it will not do that because you have a show called Shakedown and we're uh, gonna talk about that. Yeah, we've been on going. the road a lot as you've been watching and thanks for your responses, but Monday, I swear to God, we're gonna cover F1. It'll be the second race, Malaysia will be done and we'll kind of bring it all together and figure out if Button and McLaren are for real. If uh, Alonso is truly carrying Ferrari, as I believe he is, if Kimi's got his act together. And if Red Bull is what? Well, better than <laughs> P2. I mean, everyone's dissing on them, but uh, they're P2. So it's not terrible. It's all going to be good. It's they may be not dom show. But they may not dominate this year. We're, you're, we're going to be talking about that, I'm Je sure. Je ne sais pas. We will see. We will see. See, that's what happens when I hang out with jean Todd. <laughs> that and hopefully you don't um, end up I, you know what, I went into that without a joke, and I'm leaving it without a joke, so that's kind of cool. So anyway, Drive Central, because hit us up on Drive. If you haven't during the entire show, just keep tweeting and Twittering, because apparently that's all we want you to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. And in between your Twittering and Tweetering, and I was the one who did the clock joke, watch the videos. Yes, watch the videos, hit us up on Drive, we're Drive Central, see you later. Ciao.